I'm going to go to Messages and hit Settings. We have three tabs we can mess with, General, iMessage, and Shared with You. Under General, you can put in your first and last name and a profile picture and hit Setup Name and Photo Sharing. So no matter who you text, they'll see the photo and name that you choose. Underneath, you can choose to keep your messages either forever, one year, or 30 days. You can choose to be notified about messages from unknown contacts. You can get notified when your name is mentioned. You can choose to autoplay message effects. And if you want to play sound effects or not, which I keep off because I like my Mac to be silent. Lastly is my favorite preference, text size, which I bring all the way to the biggest. Next is the iMessage section. Here you can sign out of your iMessage account. You can choose to enable messages in iCloud, which syncs your entire chat history to the cloud on all of your devices. By default, your Mac will allow you to be contacted by your phone number, your iCloud email, your me.com email if you have one, and the email you use for your Apple ID. I like to just have my phone number and Apple ID as a means of contacting me. Next, you can choose if you send read receipts or not, and you can choose from which of these accounts you start your conversations from. Lastly is shared with you. When a friend sends you content from any of these apps through messages, it will pin it and save it for you to view at any time. You can choose to turn this off or to leave it on, and you can choose which apps are included. So that's messages. Now let's check out FaceTime. Once I have FaceTime open, I'm going to hit FaceTime and go to settings. Again, we have three tabs. We have general, share play, and blocked. But all the good stuff is under general. We can sign out from our Apple ID here. Just like in messages, we can choose which phone number and which emails we can be reached at for FaceTime. You can check calls from iPhone to use your iPhone on your cellular plan and receive calls when your iPhone is nearby. If when in a group chat, you want the tile of the person speaking to automatically become larger, check speaking. You can check live captions to use on-device intelligence to automatically display captions for your FaceTimes. I highly recommend checking this setting out. At the bottom, we can choose where to start new calls from. We can choose our ringtone for FaceTime, our location, and we can also choose our default video chatting app. In my case, it's either FaceTime or Zoom. Allowing SharePlay will let you watch shows, music, and other apps with friends during FaceTime calls. Under Blocked, you can add numbers that will no longer be able to contact you on FaceTime.